This episode is sponsored by Trailmakers.
So now that it's done, let me show you around. At the back we've got rudders, propellers. The motors that run the propellers and the speed controller that controls them. A battery, someone's at the wheel. At the front we've got a working ramp. It can be raised and lowered with these actuators that are controlled all the way back from this motor. Technic man on the walkway. A very simple camera mount. And of course the little rover that will climb the Simba. And of course the little rover that will climb the boat. Of course this absolute mess of cables will be covered by panels. Those things that resemble exhausts. Now once again all this would not have been possible if it wasn't for today's sponsor which is once again Trailmakers. The ultimate sandbox for adventurers, builders and engineers. Where you build your ultimate vehicle and explore a vast open world filled with challenges and adventure. Trail makers, you can play solo or team up with friends in multiplayer to conquer the toughest obstacles. So huge thanks to Trail Makers for making this adventure possible. Let's conquer a boat.
allow me to explain what happened. This is my usual setup when I film my videos. This is to control my drone and this is to control any vehicle I build. Now for this project, this was my setup. An extra controller to control the car. Move forward, move backwards. At the time of the accident, I was repositioning the boat in a circle pattern to retrieve the car, while trying to get some nice shots of the rover on the funnel. So in that moment of pure pandemonium, I probably pushed the trigger forward and sent the rover into the sea. Now, I had two vehicles in the water, and one of them was not supposed to be there. And my first thought was to maneuver the boat to push the car towards the shore. However, I immediately scrapped the idea as the boat could actually go over the car, sink it, and in the worst case scenario, damage its propellers. So, I decided to bring the boat back. I also decided to fly the drone back, as its battery was down to 15%. With the drone and boat safe and on dry land, I decided to grab my swimming gear and head out to get the rover. I was not ready to part with this guy. Now the whole thing lasted for a little more than 30 minutes, and this is the state of the battery after being submerged in the sea for those 30 minutes. The servo motor that controls the steering is filled with all kinds of salt and mud. My GoPro is not in great state. The speed control and receiver are in perfect condition since they are waterproof. But the shock! This is the large power functions motor that was submerged for 30 minutes in salt water. I don't know how this is possible.